Hey guys, today we will look at eight cards that are oddly expensive and they have spiked. Well, I guess spiked is not the correct word. They have gone up. We will start with Arlene Cod. It's been a long time since we talked about her and you can see from the graph, it has been a steady but consistent decline. She is slightly moving up right now. I believe she went up a dollar or two just over the past few days. What happened was her tribe was not that strong and she actually wasn't that great in the tribe. That was one of the issues, right? Is your legendary commander slash leader was not great and then your planeswalker was also not great. And they, were, they played alone better by themselves than they did in the tribal decks. But as I've always said, a $5 Planeswalker will never be $5 forever. And it will always either go up or down. And the reason I know this is some of the crappiest Planeswalkers I've ever like seen, minus Tibble. Tibble is a different story. But even like the Sorens eventually hits like $10 and then goes down again because people want to play the black white tokens. Arlin is a unique planeswalker in the fact that she honestly has five abilities. And her zero and then her minus one on the other side are actually pretty good. Just that she costs a little bit too much for modern and a little bit and the colors are not correct for standard, but the meta can always shift, right? Next, let's talk about this card. Obviously, this card has gone up because it is you know, in the A for Work Marvel deck, it's the Emrakul of the deck, essentially. Four of the top eight decks were A for Work Marvel decks that wanted to play this as soon as they could. The A for Work Marvel decks are very good because they have they're a mid-range deck with the opportunity to win fast on combo. So it's kind of like your mid-range deck, mid deck, but you also have this win now combo should you need it. In the long term, I feel like this card is interesting for many reasons, but is it better than the Titans that we had previously? Probably not. I like the original Titans a lot better. And this card, once it rotates out, it will be fascinating to see what the price is. But today it is a $27 card. Very expensive, but if you wanna play one of the tier one decks right now, and I would argue that particular deck is more dominant than zombies, although zombies won the event, maybe had a better pilot. Here's a card that people missed because they were so high on Shadowmore. It is still relatively cheap, but has gone up in price. Black Sun Zenith, X double black, put X minus one minus one counters on each creature and then shuffle into the library. Obviously, this is very good in a deck, in let's say a commander deck, which, or I don't know, maybe a tier four modern deck, which relies on minus one, minus one counters. This is the ultimate minus one, minus one counter generator. And the fact that it generates X amount on each creature. Assuming there are like a bazillion creatures, you're gonna get a lot of interesting effects off your commander. So I like this card. I totally missed it. I forgot this card was in because when I look up, when I think about Meriden Besieged, I don't remember that this card or the heck gives minus one, minus one counters. I just remember it as a pseudo damnation most of the time, but good card. And it has more interest now. And as you can see from the graph, it has actually been going down until lately. So I like this card a lot. It might be worth picking up some more, but it's no longer bulk. Definitely worth not selling for bulk anymore and worth holding on to. I think it's a strong hold or a strong trade. Not a buy, but a trade. Living End. Hmm, this is an interesting one. And I, I do want to talk about this card and then I'll move on to its partner card, which is Band. So Living End is a tier 2.5 deck in Modern. It's a deck that sees some play it's very unique in what it does, and I like unique cards. The suspend mechanic is a unique mechanic, 
and all the other suspend cards have recently gone up so why not the main one that actually is played in the deck restored balance being the one that has spiked best but why rely on a deck that does not exist yet in modern when you already have a living end deck which does a card i would be very intrigued at I don't know what the price point is, but it has been banned since Modern really began. Maybe it was allowed in GP Philly, which was the first Modern tour, which everything was allowed essentially. And then it was banned straight after, Hypergenesis. That card is so broken and so insane that they might just unban it. So follow the logic here. Let's say Wizard of the Coast needs to sell new, really big creatures or something, and they need a card to like get these big creatures in play and they're like hmm how can we do that well why don't we unban this one card to sell cards is the pro is it probable no is it possible yes yes it is because i've seen wizard of the coast done do similar things recently and it would not surprise me because what they did with golgari grave troll was very fascinating they unbanned it only to ban it again it could do that with hypergenesis and then all it would take is for it to be unbanned for like two days and the price on that card would skyrocket to oblivion so it's interesting right it's never going to be lower like it may be slightly lower tomorrow but today is pretty much the bottom on that card table coffers torment uncommon i don't know if we see a reprint of this really hard to reprint this card in torment because it's all mono black or even the other colors have are involved black mana somehow so cable coffers is perfect in that type of deck or in that type of set so it has steadily increased in price and now it is 18 dollars. this really caught me by surprise because i knew it was expensive I knew it was increasing in price, but no way did I think it was $18, closing on to $20. They need to reprint it, and they need to reprint it soon because that's going to sell packs, right? A lot of this time, I'm looking at these cards. I'm looking at what can sell packs. What can we put in Iconic Masters, our commander deck, to sell more packs? Because that is the business model we currently are under, is reprint everything to sell packs. It's very smart. It's the way it should be, in my opinion. Winds of Chains. And this one is fascinating because it is from Legends. Uh, at, all players shuffle their hands into their libraries and then draw the same number of cards they originally held. Not bad. Not bad for one red. Kind of fun for EDH. And you can punish the draw mechanics. Right, you can punish based on the opponent drawing cards, and you can also maybe prevent your opponents from drawing cards. It is a thirteen dollar card, and in Europe, it is only five dollars and eighty eight cents. So maybe if you live in Europe, I would suggest buying this. I I just look at these older cards, and I don't believe they're going to get cheaper because they truly are at this point in time collectible items. And I know this because some people want any old card for me. It's like, it's like why, why do you want this card? This card is like really sucky. And then I go online and I check the price and it's like, whoa, what? Just like this card. You would never imagine this card would be $14. I could never imagine it. But that's what the price is. And obviously I know people are trying to trade and get value and stuff. And they don't. And I don't know that it's $14. I think it's like a dollar. But then I go online and check, or I go on my phone and check it, and it's like fourteen dollars. Like, okay, okay, I'm not going to trade any of my legends anymore. So next, we will look at a Iros, God of Victory, Iros, Eros, uh, Commander 2016. As I've said, Commander 2016 product is beginning to spike. We have seen a tremendous amount of spikes in this particular product, even reprinted cards. This is a four. Dollar reprint. A four dollar reprint it found in a Commander 2016 product. And we have seen a lot more. A lot of these reprints are going up slightly in price. And I'm studying it because it's interesting. Right? It's always interesting when you have a product at MSRP that you can break for more money. 
yes, you do have to consider buy list. You do have to consider the time you put in and mailing. A lot of times people don't consider that. And those are those are your overhead. Your overhead is your stamps, your postage, your time, your tape. I just sent out to Dean Nahiri and like you, you gotta have all that stuff, otherwise it doesn't go out, right? So Commander 2016, very interesting, and we're going to end with one of my favorite discussions. And I've had, I've not had this discussion uh, with you guys yet. Um, on Facebook, I've had it in the chat. I, I may be using that weird app I used that one time. I forget what it's called. That what an app that they paid all the YouTubers to promote, and I promoted it, and I actually used it, but now I, I lost my login, but I found it again. Anyway, Bad River, I love it. I love it because this is totally unexpected. It's uncommon. You will find a bazillion of these. You will find like, I don't, I don't even know if it's uncommon. Is it common? I'm actually very curious to know if it's a common because the amount that I found of Bad Rivers and just random, random stuff is just insane. Let's see, Bad River, MTG. I, I would not be shocked if it was a common, but I think it's uncommon. Um, is it common or uncommon? It's an uncommon, which makes sense because it is a fetch land. And these are actually buy listing right now. I'm looking at it at 80 cents. 80 cents, you can find this on any flea market, any bulk, as long as the bulk is... People know about Lion's Eye Diamond now because Hey, Lion's Eye Diamond, but they don't know about this card. And this card is an uncommon. Meaning you will get, and it's not only uncommon, there's five of these cards. One for each of the ally fetch lands. It's insane. Just the share value you can obtain from a pile of these. I pulled probably 200 of these from the flea market. Just randomly. And I'm positive there's probably 2,000 of them at the flea market. Given how much uh, Mirage they have in those packs. No one knows its value. Like, no one knows its value. You buy listed for 80 cents. That's incredible on the card. Anyway, that's it, guys. Bye.